this is Arnav Chaudhary and you are on my YouTube channel, Aaron Foot. Today, I want to talk about the second tier of Indian football, the I-League, its preparations. Where does it stand? What is happening? And yes, there's a lot of questions that can and need to be asked towards the AFF because the Federation has said they would like to start the league on October 19th. And now, as I record this, it's less than two weeks to that date. And as far as we know, no final schedule has been announced. The AFF has recently um, made a tender available in regard to the broadcast. Yes, there have been rumours that Sony networks might be showing the I-League in the upcoming season. There is also no clarity in regard to the India under-20s. Will they play in the I-League? Will they not play in the I-League? Because there's a number of questions around that as well. Let's start with the dates. Um, I've been speaking with certain people within a number of the participating clubs. And for them, not knowing the schedule in advance is a difficult part because they need to schedule travel. They need to organize hotels, transport and other things. And yeah, it makes it costlier for the clubs and, and makes it potentially more difficult on one side. And on the other side, how do you prepare? You know, if you don't know your match schedule, how do you do your preparations? A lot of the A-League teams are, or most of them actually are in training at the moment. And then it, of course, comes the next big thing. What about the broadcast? You know, when we talk about the broadcast, it's one of the most important things. There have been issues with the broadcast over the last few seasons of the I-League, where it's gone into online, it's gone into Facebook, then it's been broadcast on a TV channel. It's never been easy and it shows the difficulty of putting Indian football onto television. And if Sony comes forward, as we've heard rumours, well, that would be a big, big step for the I-League to put it on a massive, a big television network. And then, of course, the third and final thing to talk about are the India under-20s. I personally think it's a good step by the All India Football Federation to come forward and say, listen, we are bringing back the Indian Arrows in a new Aftar and I'm not calling it Indian Arrows anymore, but would have it under the banner of India under 20s. But what's the plan? They said they would base them in Hyderabad. OK, that's understood. But how do you get the players released from the respective clubs? The transfer window is closed. Did all of this actually happen in August before? Um, the window closed. Then there is the issue of funding. Is there a specific budget within the AFF to fund this project? Or are they still looking for an outside sponsor or a well-wisher or maybe a state government who says, you know, I adopt this team and I take care of their costs for one season. Then there's the issue of salaries of the players, right? So it's not so easy to just say, hey, listen, I want the Indian under 20s or my youth teams as a team to play as arrows in the I League. As you see, as you hear, there's still a lot of questions to be answered. I hope they get sorted as soon as possible. And we look forward to an exciting 2024-2025 I League season. Let me know if I've missed something or something else that you want to mention. Write them down in the comments below. And as always, like, share and subscribe Ironfoot here on YouTube. This is Anavo Chaudhary. Signing off, but before that, also visit my other social medias, visit artfoot.com. Bye for now.